this phenomenon that we're seeing, which is increasingly disturbing to me uh, as a physician, is this post-COVID syndrome. So when you look now, we've got, you know, 6 million <clears throat> Americans, 7 million Americans, uh, we're going to have how many, but, you know, how many actually Americans had had COVID? Probably 2, 3, 4, 5, maybe 10 times that. So maybe it's 50 million, 30 million. And this phenomena of people getting COVID and then not fully recovering. Mm -hmm. It's not like you get the flu, you're sick for two weeks and you're bounced back and you're fine. This is a long-term thing. And today mm -hmm. I just read an article in the New England Journal of Medicine that terrified me, which was of elite athletes who got COVID, mm -hmm. yeah, who have persistent inflammation in their heart muscle mm -hmm. afterwards mm -hmm. that reduces their longevity and increases the risk of all sorts of problems, decreases their performance. I mean, you're talking not some you know old person with diabetes, you're talking about an elite professional athlete. So so this post-COVID thing is a real problem. And, and there is currently really not that much science being done on it. There's some descriptive stuff being done. There's not much thinking as I, as I can tell, except for people like you and I about actually how do we approach this? How do we mm -hmm. start to think about helping these patients? If you have COVID, it should be on a protocol afterwards mm -hmm. so that you don't get the post-COVID syndrome. If you do have post-COVID and you don't get better and you're sick for months and months, even after you're quote, not infectious, what's that about? So what is this post-COVID syndrome? What are the symptoms and what can we do about it? The, I, this this is I, the defining question of our lives that we're going to face. 